we've got a lot of good work in with a, you know, a lot of players out there. We've got 92 guys out this spring, so we've had an opportunity to evaluate a lot of guys, and you can can do a lot. You don't have to worry about protecting, in a sense, um, you know, because you've got only two tight ends or two running backs. You got a lot of players, so we're getting to see a lot of these young guys and. And get, they're getting a lot of opportunities to develop into guys that we can count on, uh, you know, in every down situation uh, this coming fall. I think the tempo's been really good. Uh, there's been a lot of retention. Um, our players are, are going out and playing. They're not uh, making a lot of mental mental bust, you know. And and we've got a lot of competition out there right now because a lot of those twos. Are wanting to be ones, and they're getting a lot of opportunities to go out there and uh, show this staff and their teammates what they can do. So uh, it's been been great, it's been fun as a coach to go out there and watch them compete and uh, seeing guys that uh, you know you, you make a call or you put in a new formation or a new player, a new defense, and uh, you know it's just more of a recall than than learning. So it's been been a fun spring at this point. Well, Saturday it was fun. We had a beautiful day. Uh, had a lot of fans in the stadium that wanted to come out and watch some, some football, and our guys were flying around. I think they were excited to finally get back out there, and, and we put them in some live situations, uh, you know, where we were tackling, and uh, all the coaches were off the field and just pretty much in some scrimmage situations. And, and you could just tell the excitement the players had out there uh, playing the game. So it's always good when you get out in pads and, and – and play the game. We're going to get the opportunity to do that this coming week. Uh, we're going to go full on Tuesday. And uh, then being a Shells, uh, more teaching mode again on Friday. And then this Saturday, 11 o'clock, we're going to have uh, a set of Southern Conference officials in and get the coaches and everybody off the field and get in strictly game-like situations. And that'll be practice, I guess, seven halfway through and kind of just let them go play and see where we are. In the season, you kind of get it after August is over and preseason camp. Uh, you kind of know who you, who your bullets and your gun are going to be. You know, injuries happen. There's always a guy or two that surfaces like Daniel Riddle did last year. But for the majority in the season, you know uh, these are the bullets we're going to put in the gun. Uh, this is the scheme we're going with. And you get in your routine. Spring gives you the opportunity to see a lot of players. You know, every player is uh, on our roster is getting a lot of reps. It's a lot of opportunities for those guys to grow, um, you know, and mature as a football player. It's an opportunity for our coaching staff to, hey, try this coverage, try this new play, try this new pr protection. It's a little bit of you never want to get away from the techniques and fundamentals but in the spring, it's an opportunity for you to try some new schemes, try some new ways of, of doing things. So spring is valuable, and uh, you just got to practice smart. And, uh, you know, we try to space out our, our practices so that you uh, reduce the opportunity for injuries. And uh, you just got to be smart. And, and uh, you know, each, each week, uh, your players come out motivated for different reasons. And uh, those guys that, that are competing to get a starting spot, you know, this is huge for them and showing not only us as a staff we can count on but the teammates. So spring's a fun time.